Welcome to one of the most beautiful places in all of America. Corner of Montana, right on the border of Wyoming. Uh, behind me would be the approach to Yellowstone National Park through uh, wonderful towns like Silvergate and Cook City. On the other side of the camera, that would be the Beartooth Pass. Now, Beartooth Pass, of course, has been a, a work in progress since the 1930s, most notably this year, 2022, when a mixture of snowpack and rain washed out portions of the roadway, limiting access to this area. The good news right now, the roadway's back open. You can access places like Cook City and Silver Gate, which means so much to not just tourists, but to the livelihoods of, of hundreds of people who live in these communities. Well, we are sitting um, outside the Log Cabin Cafe in Silver Gate, Montana, on a beautiful um, summer day. We're about uh, a mile from the northeast entrance of Yellowstone National Park which is typically both a beautiful and busy part of the state. Still beautiful, of course, but due to the road washouts and Yellowstone closing the northeast entrance, Silvergate has seen their vehicle traffic reduce from a daily couple thousand to just a daily couple. We enjoy the quiet. Mm -hmm. It's, as you look around, there's not a lot uh, happening right now. And, but actually, for anyone in Billings who wants to come over here spur of the moment, You'll never have this opportunity again. Typically, the towns of Cook City and Silvergate are fully booked. And you just could not ever think you could get in here. Right now, I would encourage you. It's a stay vacation. Businesses are still serving the few visitors this town sees from the comfort meals at the Log Cabin Cafe to the gifts and outdoor excursions at the Silvergate General Store. We have people who come who used to hang out here in the 80s, the 90s, the 70s, and they love coming here because this place is almost the same. It's like the same buildings, maybe there's some different owners around, uh, but really the positive part about being in here is getting people connected to nature. That's why we exist as a company in the form that we do now, is to connect people with nature because we believe it makes us better people for ourselves, for our family, and for our friends and our greater community. And we think that's what's going to help the world right now. There are plenty of accommodations to use, plenty of adventures to be had, and plenty of beauty to be seen in Silvergate. Oh, I just <laughs> encourage you to just pull out that little map and uh, or put it in your Google or whatever and uh, we're happy to share it. We really are happy to share this place because it's so special. All right, I might have put the cart before the horse. Let's back things up a little bit here. Uh, maybe it's been a while since you've gone over the Beartooth Pass. Maybe you've never gone over it before at all. We're gonna take a little bit of time here and uh, show you some of the things you might see, some of the things you might experience as you travel over one of America's most beautiful scenic byways. Dubbed the most beautiful roadway in America by on the road correspondent, Charles Corral, the Beartooth Highway climbs an astounding 10,947 feet above sea level. Since its completion in 1936, the 68-mile highway has awed millions of visitors, like first-time visitor Amy Lyon. Probably the fresh air and just kind of feeling the openness and peacefulness of it, the wild of it, the wild of it still. A product of the Great Depression, Congress chose to build this highway as part of the National Parks Approaches Act of January 31st, 1931. Its construction provided a much needed economic boost to Red Lodge, Cook City, and Yellowstone. With 20 peaks over 12,000 feet in elevation, the Beartooth Mountains lie within the near 1 million acre Absaroka Beartooth Wilderness. As it winds its way from the northeastern entrance of Yellowstone National Park to Red Lodge, the highway traverses an impressive range of ecosystems. From lush lodge pole pine forest to alpine tundra, its diversity is no doubt a major reason that it was designated an all-American road by the Federal Highway Administration in 2002. No matter where you are, check out your surroundings and appreciate where you live. Find the good in it. Absolutely and just appreciate it while it's here because you just never know a fire or anything could come through and just destroy it and you may never see it for what it is. On the other side of the big mountain, that would be the city of Red Lodge, Montana. Of course, you know by now uh, that city was underwater due to the summer floods of 2022. But the more time we spend there and the more time we listen to those residents, we keep hearing the same thing over and over again. How proud they are of their neighbors. When they were in need, they banded together and they built back. And they are open. They are open for business and they want you to come. I think this community is just amazing at jumping in and helping each other. Um, 
immediately we saw people, oh, so-and-so needs help, let's go to their house. We were at one of our employees' houses helping her clean out her basement from the flooding and people walking by with shovels and gloves and said, where can I help? There was an immediate response from community members after the floods of June 12, friends checking on friends, neighbors becoming friends when their backs were against the wall. In order to rebuild, many locals need the economy to recover. The flooding was a crushing blow to their tourism industry, which Red Lodge almost completely relies on. Two months later now, though, a trip down to U.S. Highway 212 will show you something the locals desperately want you to know. And we're battered, we're bruised, you may have seen some things on the news, but we're open, we're here to serve our friends, our customers, and we do need people to come and spend money and help support this town so that we can all continue to have the Red Lodge that we all love.